Check it, you ready to drop Hackman? Yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. All right, Jinj, you got your marker? Okay, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. And you got a piece of paper in front of you and a, something to draw with. We use markers, right? Yeah. And the reason why we use markers, a lot of people have asked us, you know that? Mm -hmm. Why we use Sharpies especially, is because we like drawing. Yeah. Do you like erasing? Uh, no. no. I don't like erasing Good. either. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like spending all my time drawing. And if you have an eraser, then you're tempted a lot of the times to just spend drawing something and then racing it because you feel like it's not perfect and then you try to draw it again. And I think it's best to use a marker because then you do your whole drawing all the way through, and then when you get done, you can look at it and say, you know what, I wanna practice that, I'm gonna draw it all over again. Is that cool? Yeah. It's kinda, of, I think that's a great rule to kinda of live by. Mm -hmm. Draw more, erase less. Yeah. You like it? Yes. Should we draw Pac-Man? Yes. All right, let's do it. Okay, dude, so we got our paper and we got a bowl. What are we gonna use a bowl for? For what shape is Pac-Man? A circle. Yeah. Here so, and a circle. Yeah, so we're going to use this bowl as a template so we can draw a perfect circle around his whole body. He's got some things that come out of his body, like his eyebrows up top, and then he's also got an arm and a hand down here at the bottom. So we're, gonna, we're not going to draw all the way around our template, okay? Kay. So we're going to draw just a little piece up here at the top, sorry, top right, and we're going to stop at the halfway mark this way and then we're also going to stop up here and leave a space I can't really see hopefully my hat doesn't get in the way but we're going to come over here and then we're going to draw the rest of him Whoop. we'll start this way the rest of him all the way down here and then we're going to stop just past halfway over here does that make sense yes do you understand we leave a little gap up here at the top that's for his eyebrows and then we're going to leave we're gonna stop here, and this is gonna be for his arm, and his fist is gonna be down here with his punchy gloves, okay? Okay. And we're doing it all, almost all the way to the right side of our paper. We're using eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, and so you wanna leave a little space for his arm when it comes out the elbow, but we wanna leave most of the space over here because he's gonna have his big glove doing a thumbs up on that nope. side. My mind is closed. <laughs> so you want to stop here on that side and then leave a gap up at the top. Good job. That's perfect, man. Hey, now we're going to up here at the top, we're going to do an M for his eyebrows, but there's going to be a gap in the middle of his eyebrows. So we're going to come up and then down for one of his eyebrows, and then we're going to leave a gap, and then we're going to come back up and then back down for his other eyebrow. Cat ears. Cat ears. Yeah, it totally looks like cat ears. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna thicken up this side of this eyebrow. Come. And then we're gonna thicken up, we're gonna thicken both sides over here on this one. Good job. Awesome. I like how you're kind of correcting the line and you can make it a little thicker while you do it, huh? Mm -hmm. And then you want the bottom of the V's or the upside down V's to be straight across. So there's a little, little spot right there you can straighten up. Perfect. Good job. Okay, and then we're gonna bring down a little line off of the top of his left eyebrow. And then we're gonna imagine this line coming through and we're gonna go ahead, we could put the template back on, but we're just gonna draw it. Good. Good, it's awesome. He looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not quite done yet. <laughs> All right, so let's get a smile in there. So we're going to start all, almost all the way over here on the far left, all the way touching this line. And we're going to draw a curved smile, you know, the top of his smile like this. Okay? Okay.
Good. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to draw the bottom of his smile. Awesome. Okay. Now let's do his tongue and we're going to make a U inside of his mouth. Okay. Good. And then we'll do a curved M on top. Good job. And we're going to color this in and we're going to use, we'll use oil pastels to color in his mouth because it's so big. We won't yeah. use our markers and then we'll, we'll keep going. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do his nose next. So right above in the middle of his mouth, right above it, we're going to do big shape it's like spongebob's like nose. that yeah it kind of does look like spongebob's nose good okay now we're going to use some overlapping for his eye and we're going to draw a backwards c but it's more of an oval than most c's like when you draw a c usually or write a c it's usually more like a circle Mm -hmm. And then we do the little sideways V to connect that gap. It looks like when it looks like the regular Pac-Man just Yeah, it does. It, it totally looks like the old school Pac-Man, his eye, huh? Yeah. This is all in Smash Brothers, Pac-Man. Oh yeah. Pac-Man's is he one of your favorites in Smash Brothers? Uh actually Does he have some cool I, powers? Yeah. Like, Who's your favorite? Um, I think her ninja. Aw. Cool. And yeah, Greninja or Sonic. Awesome. I like Sonic too. Pac-Man's uh, Super Smash. He's it's awesome. Is it? Is it really cool? What does he do? He it's the old school. Um, the old school. Oh, the game. The yeah. old school game. Yeah. Does he goes sideways and yeah, he eats he people. Eats, <laughs> he eats people and then they turn into like like little eyes and then they go off the screen and drop them. <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's keep doing it. Let's go. Yeah. Let's do his other eye, okay? Yeah. All right, so we're going to do a check mark or an L. We're going to come down and he's winking. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do an L shape and then we want to thicken up this line, kind of like how we did the uh, his eyebrows, but we're going to do it even thicker than the eyebrows. And then color that color that in maybe that was too thick <laughs> no it's all right <laughs> good job man i like it okay now let's do his we're gonna do his punchy glove over here okay we're gonna do a big it's a c shape we're gonna come up like this around back down and then back in so it's pretty much is that like tricky a, it's kind of like a swirl um, like an oval yeah almost so, like an oval but at, right at the end when you're gonna close it go back in yes and come down and then go cut back in huh? yes no that's good keep going and then you can bring the other line back up like a smiley face right there. Yeah, it does. The cheek. It, it kind of totally does right look. <laughs> and then we're going to put another little contour line right there. And then let's do his thumb up at the top, upside down U. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do, do his arm. We'll do another line. That. Awesome, man. We're getting close. We're almost done. Okay, so let's do his other arm. We're gonna do this one different or backwards than what we did over here. We did we drew his glove first and then his arm second. We're gonna do his arm first and then his glove second. So we're gonna put right on the end, we're gonna do a contour line that comes in. So it's connected to that, to where we stopped his body. Then we're going to have a little 
like that. Go. Good, and I'm gonna go off my page. We didn't leave enough room okay. there, but that's okay. And we'll come back, and we're gonna. So I'm pretending it's going off the page and then down. You kind of want this side, and maybe mine doesn't look. It should be a little thinner like that because you want this arm to be the same as this arm. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna put little. C shape, on the end of his arm. It's like Sonic Threes. Yeah, it kind of does. Arm. And then we're gonna finish his glove. So we're gonna come back this way, connect those two lines, or the one line, one the end of the line to the other end, and then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna finish his glove. Okay, let's do that first. So we'll do a curve, like a big L, curved L. And we're going to come down this side. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll finish his fingers up and in. And then let's put a little Y at the end. Okay, and then we'll do his thumb sticking out just a little bit right there. Good job. Okay, now we're going to come back up here and put another contour line around his arm. Awesome. Okay, we need to do his legs and his feet, huh? Yeah. So we'll put another contour line right here. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Always, every single time you sneeze in our videos. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you ready to do his, let's do his legs. We're going to do two lines coming out the bottom of his, bottom of his body. Good, and then we'll put a contour line this way. And then we're going to put a ring around his leg. That's for the top of his shoe. Okay, and then we're going to come down with two lines. And that, the right side of the line is going to be a little thicker. Or a little longer, sorry. And two lines. And two lines. <laughs> then we're going to do the front of his boot, okay? So we're going to come up with a big upside down U. The newer um, Pac-Man, it's yeah. like, it's way 3D. Is it? Yeah. More 3D than what we're doing? Just wait, we're no, going to no, shade him. No, 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 what I mean, like, this is the newer Pac-Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the old one's not 3D. Yeah, it's like just completely flat. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, and then I did the bottom of his foot, if you're running out of room, so that this would go a curved, curved up. Okay, now let's do his other leg. Okay. And we're going to do two lines coming out of his body. <laughs> and we're going to do a contour line at the bottom. And then we're going to do another oval or ring around and those are four shortened circles huh yep. that's why they look squished so if you were to look straight down on those shoes there would be a circle okay and then we're going to do another line this way and i'm i'm matching the same direction that his foot is going over here okay. and then we're going to come out and his this foot's going to be facing the other direction like that and then we're going to curve that in that big feet that was probably a little too far Bigfoot. <laughs> bigfoot pac-man <laughs> what <laughs> all right dude we got him all finished he looks pretty cool i think we could draw pac-man a couple times huh practice yeah. him get him mm -hmm. even looking better but let's color this guy first okay yeah all right all right checkers we got our colors already don't we yeah we got yellow why do we need yellow because his whole, <laughs> his whole body is yellow <laughs> Yes, well, that's why we need yellow. And then we got orange, and we got brown, and we got red, and we have black. And we're going to do the whole thing solid, and then we'll fast forward through the whole thing. We're going to do yellow here, black, red, orange, and red for his boots, okay? Yeah. And we're going to fast forward all the way. We're going to color it solid, and then after we color the whole thing solid, we're going to show our art friends how to shade him and make him look yeah. real 3D. Kay. Cool? Yeah. Let's do it right now.
You got it, dude. That was a ton of coloring, huh? Yeah. We did the whole thing and we colored it in solid, right? Yes. So now we're gonna do the shading. So I have a yellow orange. And if our art friends don't have a yellow orange, you can use a regular orange, but just press lighter than the than how much we're pressing. Yeah. Okay. And so we're gonna make our Pac-Man look like he's a globe. What's yeah. it, a globe is a ball, right? Yeah. It's a ball shape. And so we're going to start right here next to his glove, and we're gonna put a layer of this yellow orange on top of the yellow that we just did, but we're gonna do it, watch this. You see what direction I'm going? Oh, yeah. I'm kinda of going and creating a moon shape on the right side of his, of his head, body, whatever this thing is <laughs> called. And then as I get closer to his mouth and closer to the center of Pac-Man, we're going to get lighter and lighter, okay? Yes, like that. And then you want to bring that shape all yeah. the way down over to this side. Are we going to need to do that? Yes, and then this goes all the way up to his eyebrow up there. Yeah, you're doing good, man. Keep going. And then right next to, so the farthest away um, on the edge, outer edge over here on the right, it should be pretty dark. You should be pressing fairly hard. Go. Yes, that's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go back on top of that layer with the light yellow that we had, and we're gonna smooth it out, smooth that that uh, shading that we just put on there so that there's no texture, it just looks soft. Hey, and if you think that it needs to get a little bit darker, you can get your yellow orange or your orange again and do another layer on top of that and just keep building it up until you feel that you have the right, that it looks 3D, that it looks like a globe or a ball. Good. Now we're going to get the orange again, that yellow orange, and we're going to come up here and color the right side of this left eyebrow. Because the light's shining this way, so that part of his eyebrow would be dark. Mm -hmm. And then you want to connect it straight, so have a straight line. Yes, just like how you did it. Okay, now we're going to do his nose, and his nose is a cylinder shape coming out of the globe. So. I'm going to do contour lines this direction all the way down until it looks like it would intersect into his body. You see that? Mm -hmm. Then we can smooth that out again right on the end so it's soft just like that. Okay. Then we can take our edge, the edge of your oil pastel and put a little highlight on the top and also on the bottom, just right against the black, the black line. Good. And then let's get the white, our white pastel. You want to make sure that the white is clean. So I have a scratch piece of paper right here. And you make sure that you don't have any red or dark colors on there. And we're going to do a little circle right on top so it looks like his nose is shiny. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now let's shade his tongue, and we're going to get uh, the Ooh. brown. His tongue. And we're going to get Ooh. our brown and just shade kind of the top the top of his tongue. And I don't know. This brown's not quite working, so we might we need to figure out something else. So I'm going to try a little black. I'm just going to put a layer on top, a light layer on top of his tongue just so it looks like it's going into his mouth. And then get the red again and smooth it out. Yeah, that works a lot better. The brown didn't work very well. Yeah, I was coloring the tongue and then I got some black on my red. Uh-huh, so and then it started shading it. it. And I started shading, yeah. That's cool. Okay, and then we can get the white again and we're gonna put a small little highlight just on the end of his tongue. Oh, it broke. <laughs> so making things look 3D on paper, you really need, you need a solid color and then you need a dark color to make it look like a shadow. And then you need a lighter color 
to, to make the highlight. Okay. Okay, dude. You want to put a little white on there? <coughs> All right. Okay, now we're going to use brown. And we're going to do this on, you know what? Let's actually finish his arms first. And then we'll switch to his gloves. So we're going to get our orange. And then right here on the bottom of this left arm, we'll put a small L. And then on this side, we'll kind of do the same thing, but it's on the other side, this side. And then we can also smooth that out with the uh, light yellow. Where'd my light yellow go? There it is. <laughs> I couldn't find it. It was on my scratch paper. Mm -hmm. And we can smooth that out, blend it in so it doesn't look like there's a sharp edge in between the yellow and the yellow orange. Okay, dude. Now let's switch to his gloves. So we get our brown and we're going to go around the outside of his glove on the right side and put a layer on there. You can press pretty hard. And then we're gonna also do the right side of this little donut shape that's around his wrist. Okay, now let's get our orange again and then we'll smooth that out. Good job, man. And then a little bit up here on the donut around his wrist. Good. And then I'm get, I've got my white, and we're going to put a small highlight right here on the edge of his glove. Good, man. Okay, now let's go over to the other side and do the same thing. And so we get our brown, and this time, so the light's shining this way, right? So yes. remember, it's going that way, so our shadows are going to be on the right side because the light's coming from the left. We put a layer down, brown. And then on this thumb, we'll also put a layer down on the right side. And then we'll get our orange and do the same thing. Just blend it out, make it look smooth so it's not a harsh transition from the orange to the brown. Mm -hmm. You having fun? Yeah. You can tell you're concentrating. <laughs> you guys always get really quiet when you concentrate. <laughs> yeah. You got it? Yep. Cool. Just finishing mine. Brown's not blending as much as well as I want it to. Okay, now get your white again. And we're going to put a, a, a highlight right here on the edge of his gloves. See how the shadow makes the it look like it's going around? Mm -hmm. And then the highlight really pops and makes it look like it's coming forward yeah. towards us. Okay, now let's put a little highlight on his thumb and we'll be done with his gloves. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay, now we got his boots. And we tried doing brown on the top of the red and it didn't work very well. So let's do a black. Okay. So we're going to put a black, a thin, really light layer of black in between the two boat the the two boots and that's going to help make them or make them look separate like they're not the same boot mm -hmm. and then we'll go back over with the red and blend that black be really careful with the black because too much black will go it'll make your drawing look muddy and kind of dirty so you just want to use it as lightly as you can Okay, now we get the black again, and we can put a really, really, just don't press very hard on the edge of his boot on this side. All right, is the light mm -hmm. shining this way? Yep. And then we get the red again, and you can smooth it out. Good job, dude. Okay, now we're going to do a shadow right here at the top of his, uh, top of his boots. We forgot we got to do the legs too, huh? Yeah. So we're going to put a shadow, and this is kind of a cast shadow from his legs, right here on top of his boots. Okay, and then okay. let's do, let's do his legs. Oh, okay, before we do his legs, get the white again, 
and we're going to put a highlight on his end of his boots right here and then also put a little crease on right here coming through the where his boot is folding and going up his leg and we can also put a small little highlight on the top of his boot right on the edge <laughs> good job man it's looking really good okay let's do the same thing on this side we'll put a little highlight right where his toes are and then we can do a little another little highlight right here going up his leg and let's do let's do the same on this side over here just a light highlight and then we can blend it kind of blend it with the uh, red again Good job, Kay. Last step, we got to do his legs. They look really flat, huh? Yeah. Everything looks 3D except for his legs. So we get the yellow orange again, and we're going to do a layer on the right side of his legs, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll do it on this leg also. And then we're going to go back over it and blend it out so it's not that hard edge right there. And then we'll be done. <laughs> that. That make his legs look more 3D. Yeah. Yes, he looks super awesome, man. I can't believe it. That was a lot of three. That was a good exercise to draw 3D stuff, huh? Yeah. He looks super cool because he's got all that shading on it. And we could compare it to when we were first done. We didn't have any shading and it looks super flat, right? Yeah. This looked like it was stuck on the paper. And this looks like it's popping out of the paper. <laughs> it's cool, huh? Yeah. You had fun? Yes. Always? Yes. You promise? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we love drawing with you guys. We hope you guys had a ton of fun drawing Pac-Man and shading him, making him look really 3D. Be sure to take a picture of him and send him to us, right? Mm -hmm. What's our email address? Uh, my art at art for yes, my art at artforkidshub.com. And if they want to send a real picture to us, what's our mailing address? PO Box 927 Pleasant Grove, Utah 84062. Yes, 84062. Okay. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel also. We'll leave a button right here that they can click. Well, that's a scary face, dude. You look like Pac Man. I know. <laughs> We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends. Power fill it. Oh. Power oh. <laughs>